real good focus, I thought, tonight on, um, on the task at hand. You know, we got some, some penalties that we had to kill off, uh, uh, but uh, sticking with it, we're down one nothing, and uh, we're, we stayed right with it, and then Kobe gets that goal there, and, and now it's a, a 20 minute game to, in order to get to, 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 to the next step, and then the, you know, in a matter of two minutes is really all it was, was that the game broke open there, and uh, we got two quick goals, and uh, that, that was great for us, and that's what we needed, and I thought we did a good job uh, down the stretch, and then Tommy uh, in that as well. So uh, I think all those ingredients were all good for us, and, and now we get a chance to move forward, and uh, like you said, Air Force, another team, you know, really just not much different, and uh, you know, a difference between teams, and and I, I read our guys a, a, a quick little quote uh, at the end of the game. Anything less than everything is not enough. And, and that's about it. If you don't give everything, and I do mean everything, you, you're not going to win. And uh, that goes for tonight and, and as we move forward, too. Wayne, can you talk about what Wilkie did for you early in that third? Looked like he, uh, almost a shorthanded goal. There probably should have been a penalty. Then gets the goal. But his energy, it, feel, it felt like the uh, that you're – your boys kind of fed off that early in the third. Yeah, I, I think, it, 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 and it worked the reverse on them a little bit in that uh, we, uh, you know, we did a good job killing penalties all, all weekend. We didn't give up a, a power play goal, so uh, I think they got a little frustrated. We talked about that with us last night a little bit, but even last night we were still one for four. It just when you get those five minutes, you're expecting to score one, maybe two. You get excited about that, and I think you got to stick with it. And, and tonight, uh, yeah, you probably should have been a penalty. We, we get hooking from 200 feet from our net, and then we don't get a call in our favor when we're on a breakaway. But anyways, you just move on, and, and um, you know, I, I, good for us. Wayne, your thoughts on Tommy Scarfoni, because he didn't you know, really take control of this job until the end of the season. And, and just, you're, you're not going to Utica without Tommy Scarfoni, certainly. Right, you got, you got to be careful when you give the goalies the keys to the car, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> Uh, but he's earned them, and uh, he's done a really good job, and uh, he's been every bit of part of, as big a part as anyone on the team. Our wins, I mean, when you look at just our freshmen in general, and there's, there wasn't a lot of freshmen in the country, but uh, he's, uh, uh, he's been, the, our freshmen have been as big and key to our uh, play as anyone else. Wayne, when you look at the second period, the first seven or eight minutes, you didn't have a shot. Then things just kind of changed. It seemed like the energy, you started getting shots below the dots. It seemed like everything just kind of shifted towards uh, the, your club late, about midway through the second period. Yeah, like we talked earlier, John, I thought the key was we've got to get pucks behind their D. And, and they may break it out, uh, you know, the first couple of times. But if you continue to do that over and over and over again, finish your checks once you get in, it really does wear teams down and it tests them that they've got to be perfect coming out all the time and no turnovers. And I, I just thought there was a point in that period, and I didn't know the exact minute of, the, of that period, but uh, as you talked about, uh, all of a sudden they started getting a little sloppy and we started getting chances. And uh, I thought we probably deserved a better fate. Uh, we had a couple trickle right behind their goalie. And, we really came on in the second, and then uh, I thought we were solid in the third. Well, Wayne, your, your thoughts on uh, you know the final four, if you will, here, the semifinals, because uh, it, it is two teams that were the higher seed, but you do get an Air Force team that had the upset. You do get Mercyhurst. How balanced is this league, would you say? Well, we know what Air Force is like. We both uh, split uh, out, out there and uh, in both an overtime game, so I don't, I don't expect anything different there. And Mercyhurst, uh, we split on the season. We won both here, they won both there, and then uh, AIC, we split with them in the season, uh, uh, all four games. So we split there, split at home, and a couple overtime games in that one. So um, yeah, I'd like to hope that we play the first game because I, I, I got a funny feeling that second game is not going to start on time, uh, wh whoever's playing in that one.